The 310th Space Wing is an Air Reserve Component of the United States Air Force, it is assigned to the 10th Air Force, Air Force Reserve Command, stationed at Schriever Air Force Base, Colorado. The 310th SW is mission partnered with the 21st Space Wing, Air Force Space Command 30th Space Wing, AFSPC, 50th Space Wing, AFSPC, and 460th Space Wing, AFSPC. If mobilized, the wing is gained by AFSPC. Overview. The 310 SW is the only space wing in the Air Force Reserve. It provides specialized expertise, continuity and combat-ready personnel, projecting space power for U.S. interests worldwide. The 310th has a long and rich heritage dating back to World War II, when it began as the 310th Bombardment Group on 15 March 1942, flying North American B-25 Mitchell medium bombers. In October 1942, the 310th was the first 12th Air Force group sent overseas, initially to England and then to French Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, France, and Italy where the highly decorated unit participated in the European-African Middle Eastern Campaign. The 310th Bombardment Group was inactivated in September 1945. The 310th Bombardment Wing was reactivated in 1952 as part of Strategic Air Command. It trained on the Boeing B-29 Superfortress before converting to the Boeing B-47 Stratajet. It was inactivated in June 1965 with the phase-out of the B-47 from the U.S. Air Force Inventory. The 310th became part of Air Force Space Command in 1991 when the 310th Training and Test Wing was activated for a short time at Vandenberg Air Force Base, Calif. The 310th Designator was again activated with the stand-up of the 310th Space Group on 4 September 1997. The 310th Space Group was re-designated the 310th Space Wing on 7 March 2008. The 310th Space Wing is commanded by Colonel Tracy L. Cooker Murphy. Its Command Chief Master Sergeant is Chief Master Sergeant Imelda B. Johnson. <laughs> Subordinate units The wing is composed of 16 units, under the 310th Operations Group and 310th Mission Support Group, that support various military and other government organizations including, but not limited to, the Department of Commerce, Air Force Space Command, Air Combat Command, the Space Innovation and Development Center, 14th Air Force, 50th Space Wing, 21st Space Wing, and 460th Space Wing. 6th Space Operations Squadron Defense Meteorological Satellite Program Backup for NOAA 7th Space Operations Squadron Associate Unit to 1st Space Operations Squadron 8th Space Warning Squadron Operates Space-Based Infrared System at Buckley Air Force Base 9th Combat Operations Squadron Supports the 14th Air Force Joint Space Operations Center at Vandenberg Air Force Base 14th Test Squadron Associate Unit to 17th Test Squadron 19th Space Operations Squadron Associate Unit to 2 SOPS 310th Security Forces Squadron 310th Communications Flight Associate Unit to 561st Network Operations Squadron INOSC West at Peterson Air Force Base Reserve National Security Space Institute Associate Unit to the NSSI 380th Space Control Squadron Associate Unit to 16th Space Control Squadron at Peterson Air Force Base Topic History Topic World War II 
The unit was constituted as the 310th Bombardment Group medium on 28 January 1942 and activated on 15 March 1942. Used B-25s in preparing for duty overseas. Moved to the Mediterranean theater by single aircraft between October 1942 and March 1943 and assigned to 12th Air Force. Sufficient aircraft were on hand by 2 December, when it conducted its first operation against anti-aircraft concentrations at Gabes, Tunisia. Engaged primarily in support and interdictory operations in Tunisia, Sicily, Italy, Corsica, Sardinia, and southern France. The 310th Bomb Group also flew some missions to Austria and Yugoslavia. The unit attacked harbors and shipping to help defeat Axis forces in North Africa, December 1942 to May 1943. Bombed airdromes, landing grounds, and gun emplacements on Pantelleria, Lampedusa, and Sicily, May to July 1943. The unit supported the Allied landing at Salerno, September 1943. Assisted the drive toward Rome, January to June 1944. Supported the invasion of southern France, August 1944. Struck German communications—bridges, rail lines, marshalling yards, viaducts, tunnels, and road junctions in Italy, August 1943 – April 1945. Also dropped propaganda leaflets behind enemy lines. The 310th Bomb Group received a Distinguished Unit Citation for a mission to Italy on 27 August 1943 when, in spite of persistent attacks by enemy interceptors and anti-aircraft artillery, the group effectively bombed marshalling yards at Benevento and also destroyed a number of enemy planes. Received Second Duke for another mission in Italy on 10 March 1945 when the group, maintaining a compact formation in the face of severe anti-aircraft fire, bombed the railroad bridge at Aura, a vital link in the German supply line. The 310th Bomb Group was inactivated in Italy on 12 September 1945. The unit was redesignated the 310th Bombardment Group, light and allotted to the reserve. Activated in the U.S. on 27 December 1946. Inactivated on 27 June 1949. <laughs> Cold War The 310th Bombardment Wing was activated in 1952 as a Strategic Air Command Unit, receiving Boeing B-29 Superfortress Bombardment training from 90th Bombardment Wing, April–August 1952. From February through May 1953, the 310th Bomb Wing provided bombardment training to the 40th Bombardment Wing. Replaced the propeller-driven B-29s with new Boeing B-47E Stratajet-swept wing medium bombers in 1954, capable of flying at high subsonic speeds and primarily designed for penetrating the airspace of the Soviet Union. Participated in SAC reflex deployments, deploying to RAF Upper Hayford, England, the 10th of March to the 8th of June 1955, and at RAF Greenham Common, England, the 3rd of October 1956 to the 9th of January 1957. The wing gained a strategic missile squadron in April 1961. First CGM-16 Atlas missiles went on alert in September 1962. In the early 1960s, the B-47 was considered to be reaching obsolescence, and was being phased out of SAC's strategic arsenal. B-47s began being sent to AMARC at Davis Munthen in early 1965, was inactivated in late June. <laughs> Air Force Space Command On 1 September 1991, the third wing to hold the 310 
Designation: The 310th Training and Test Wing, 310 TTW, assumed the ICBM testing and training mission from the Strategic Missile Center at Vandenberg AFB, California, under the 20th Air Force. After removal of ICBMs from alert status at the end of the Cold War, the 310 TTW continued to train Minuteman crews and to test accuracy and reliability of Minuteman and Peacekeeper missiles. The 310 TTW also assisted in testing the Global Positioning System GPS April 1992 to May 1992. It was reassigned to Air Combat Command on 31 May 1992. It was inactivated on 1 July 1993. The 310th designator was again activated with the stand-up of the 310th Space Group 4 September 1997. The group was created around its original squadron, the 7th SOPS, and has grown rapidly with the realization of the critical role the Air Force Reserve can play in the future of space operations. The group has been tremendously successful in its initial missions and has been tasked with reviewing future active, reserve partnerships in space to identify potential areas where the AF Reserve can add value in the space arena. Air Force Reserve Command officials are expanding the role reservists play in space operations by establishing AFRC's first space wing at Schriever Air Force Base. Command officials activated the 310th Space Wing on 7 March 2008. Lineage 310th Bombardment Group established as the 310th Bombardment Group Medium on the 28th of January 1942 activated on the 15th of March 1942 redesignated 310th Bombardment Group Medium on the 20th of August 1943 inactivated on the 12th of September 1945 redesignated 310th Bombardment Group Light and activated in the reserve on the 27th of December 1946 Inactivated on the 27th of June 1949, consolidated with the 310th Strategic Aerospace Wing as the 310th Strategic Aerospace Wing on the 31st of January 1,984,310. Space Wing established as the 310th Bombardment Wing, medium on the 15th of March 1952. Activated on the 28th of March 1952. Redesignated 310th Strategic Aerospace Wing on the 1st of March 1962, discontinued and inactivated on the 25th of June 1965, consolidated with the 310th Bombardment Group on the 31st of January 1984, remained inactive. Redesignated 310th Training and Test Wing on the 29th of August 1991, activated on the 1st of September 1991. Inactivated on 1 July 1993 redesignated 310th Space Group on the 22nd of August 1997 activated in the reserve on 1 September 1997 redesignated 310th Space Wing on 7 March 2008 Topic <laughs> Assignments Topic Stations Topic Components Wings Fortieth Bombardment Wing, attached the sixth of February to the first of May nineteen fifty three groups three hundred and tenth operations group the first of september nineteen ninety one to the first of july nineteen ninety three the seventh of march two thousand and eight present squadrons topic aircraft missiles and satellites operated North American B-25 Mitchell, 1942–1945 
Boeing B-29 Superfortress 1952 Boeing KC-97 Stratotanker 1952 Boeing B-47 Stratojet 1954 CGM-16 Atlas 1962 Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker 1964–1965 Defense Meteorological Satellite Program 1997–present Global Positioning System 1997–present Space-based Infrared System 2006–present See also List of B-29 units of the United States Air Force List of B-47 units of the United States Air Force 521st Air Service Group Support Unit for the Group in World War II